Hi everyone, Sarah from Earth Spirit. Just doing a general three card reading for the full moon, which um, we have Tuesday the 8th of November 2022 and in the Southern Hemisphere. So it's also a blood full moon, full moon eclipse and um, it's a flower full moon, which um, for this part of the world, uh, the flowers are all coming out. So it's appropriate that it's a flower full moon um, and also flowers and the blood full moon or the full moon eclipse they all mean change and transformation because the moon's changing in a big way with the energy and with the um it changes red and it's about passion with the red color coming in and power and um also the flowers are just you know about transformation the flowers opening up and changing so and the moon's going to be changing its appearance so it's all about change and transformation uh, eclipses often mean um, change and transformation so because of the change that they're they're undergoing and so that that um, means we'll be going through some changes and transformations with that energy from the moon um, and it's a really nice energy I'm, I'm getting a really nice energy from it from the moon at um, this full moon so um, yeah and I don't see any problem with putting your crystals out to cleanse I have had some people ask me that the eclipse brings negative energy well I don't think that's true unless you're feeling um, a really agitated negative energy from the moon then of course you're not going to put your crystals out but if you feel a positive energy like I am um, then put them out so the moon can change and affect everybody differently so sometimes it makes me feel not good sometimes but other people will feel really good so it just affects you differently so of course if you're feeling not good with the moon energy then you don't put your crystals out to charge and cleanse them at that time so um, yeah I think it just affects everybody differently with the energy and um, you should just act accordingly to how you're feeling and, and it's an individual kind of thing it's your choice and how you're feeling with that moon energy um, of course you don't want your crystals all charged with uh, an, an energy that's making you feel not really good okay so I'm using my cards the um, triple goddess oracle So I think a lot of things with spiritual work, you've got to go with what you're feeling and not what you see on Facebook or what you read in books. Um, you can have a look at them and you can go, oh, okay, but then make your mind up based on how you're feeling energetically and how you're feeling in here and in here and in here. <laughs> so um, and how, what you're picking up, intuitively picking up. So that's what always works for me to follow those those sort of how you're feeling so let's see what comes up okay so we haven't had that one before so when i've done one of these general readings okay so this one's a about being artistic and creative so um, I think we had this for the last full moon so again it's coming up to bring out that creative artistic energy maybe it's asking you to put on some music or do some drumming or um, if you have a medicine drum or if you play music or sing do some singing or chanting for this full moon tonight um, it could just mean to bring out your artistic side doing painting or writing or or whatever you do craft or whatever you do that's creative so it's it's asking us to bring that and do you know what's really good about bringing out our artistic side it takes your mind off the negative horrible things that are going on in the world and you're putting your energy into something that's creating something beautiful and also something that other people can enjoy so it's um it's a good really good way to focus your energy into into that being creative Okay, so this second one is about um, healing. It's about growing. It's about um, like the tree, the leaves of the trees are all green, so flourishing. So a really um, good time in your life. So maybe you're feeling really good, or you're it's you're just about things are just about to turn around for you and start going really well and flourishing. Um, this, as I said, this full moon is about transformation and change. So maybe if you've been going through a rough patch 
um, you're about to have some changes coming in um, also it's asking you to connect with nature and in particular trees so get out there and connect with some trees and nature um, it's a really good idea to find a tree that you're really drawn to and tr start connecting with it on a regular basis if you can um, you just you get that connection with that particular tree and um, yeah and you get you sort of swapping energy and helping each other then the, the tree's giving you healing energy and you're giving it your energy as well and um, yeah so it's just a really nice um, situation there if you want to connect with the tree I always love connecting with nature that way and I feel it's really important and I feel that they you know they have a voice trees and and they're very important we can't breathe without them people forget but anyway I'll go I could go on and on about trees so I better not so um yeah so and it's also uh it's because it's, it's that the leaves are so beautiful and green it's like talking about healing so if you've been going through some bad health or some ill health it's talking about that you're going to start feeling better and you're going to be going through some healing maybe the artistic side is going to help bring out that healing and change for you and then this last one is great this one's the rainbow with the pot of gold so um, this is just saying you know don't give up think things are going to look better you, you know there's a like I keep always say there's a I keep saying there's an ebb and a flow so you just got to get through the ebb and then the flow will start but there's some good luck and prosperity coming up for you in, in future so if you just um, hang in there and just stay positive if you can it's not always easy to stay positive but just um, yeah just you know like the saying says um, wherever there's a storm there's going to be a rainbow so there's always going to be hard times but then at the end there's going to be a rainbow and you've got that that prosperity there with the little pot of gold um, so that's a, that's a really good luck one so good luck coming in around that one I might just pull one more see what comes up okay so that's beautiful so you've got the, the heart in that's in a really good place so happiness heart happiness so in love or you you really love what you're doing or you just your heart's really singing and happy so th these are things to look forward to these are few coming up in the future so maybe you might want to do some um, manifesting and some ritual spell work around tonight around the full moon to bring in some prosperity and abundance and to bring in some healing around your heart with some rose quartz or adventuring crystals and you might want to use some citrine for the um, abundance coming in so and um, yeah that's a good sign I hope that's appropriate for coming up for people you won't know about these things until later on down the track and the thing is with readings and cards you've got to be patient it's not going to happen like that you just got to wait it's just a, a bit of guidance to what could be coming up for the future for you so and get out and enjoy the full moon make sure you get photos or and, and of it beautiful the red it's just amazing when you get that beautiful red of the full moon and I, I don't think it's going to happen again until i think i read 2025 or something if that's correct <laughs> i think i read that somewhere um yeah so anyway have a great night full moon blessings and magic of the full moon and thanks for connecting and i will talk to you again soon thanks everyone bye